While only days into a new legislative session, Bay State lawmakers are already preparing to dig in for debate over an issue they consider to be essential to the operation of the Commonwealth in the new year, their salaries. That's because this year, state legislators will receive a 5.5% pay increase, which will, which will raise the base salary from $58,237 to $61,440. For those who are mathematically inclined, $61,440 is 61,440 times more than what the 6% of mass residents who are currently unemployed will make this year. Some have suggested that the increase is acceptable, as the figure would represent less than half the wage currently earned by managers in comparable positions in the financial district. There are those, however, who do not think that it is economically responsible to allow the salary hike, such as anyone who is not stupid. <laughs> they maintain that the $58,000 is merely a secondary source of income, as many local politicians were already successful lawyers, businessmen, and completely corrupt long before coming to office. <laughs> If the salary increase does go through, lawmakers will likely see the extra funds deposited directly into their bank accounts, a break from how many of them are currently getting paid. <laughs> when not trying to shame their fellow legislators into not taking a pay raise, Mass lawmakers plan on putting together a Great Places in Massachusetts Commission with the goal of officially recognizing 1,000 locations across the state as Great Places. Many officials see this as an opportunity to promote hidden attractions that many tourists might not be aware of, such as the Paper House in Rockport, Purgatory Chasm in Sutton, or the Improv Boston Theater in Cambridge. Here's what 87-year-old Anthony D. Donato answered when the Boston Globe asked the Dudley Mass native which landmark he thought his town would choose. I don't think there's a lot of places of interest in our town, said D. Donato. <laughs> We probably had a shoe factory or something. There isn't much that would draw tourists to Dudley. <laughs> While it's true that many small towns might not have attractions that can compete with Plymouth Rock or Boston Common, we at Boston Newsnet have developed a ceremonial plaque that can be proudly displayed in almost any part of the state. Representatives from police departments around the state expressed frustration last week over the new legislation decriminalizing the possession of an ounce or less of marijuana. John Collins, a spokesman for the Massachusetts Chiefs of Police Association, said the law is inherently flawed, so much so that many Bay State cops aren't even going to try to enforce it. Not only are most departments missing the forms necessary to issue the $100 ticket that is punishment for violating the law, but those being ticketed are not required to provide identification as they cannot be arrested for refusing to identify themselves and would therefore not need to pay a ticket issued to a false name. <laughs> Boston Newsnet agrees that the law is flawed, although we can't help but wonder if it doesn't make things slightly more difficult when a police spokesman essentially issues a statement that says, and listen carefully, if you get picked up by cops when holding less than an ounce of weed, just give them a false name and they'll let you go. <laughs> Good for thoughts. And finally, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health announced a new plan last week that it hopes will help stem the growing epidemic of obesity plaguing the state. Current figures indicate that 60% of Bay State residents are obese, or in slightly less technical terms, they're so fat that their cereal bowl comes with a lifeguard. <laughs> the initiative is titled Mass in Motion, a name that conjures a variety of images, some better at motivating people to diet than others. The plan would require fast food chains to publish calorie counts, provide grants for statewide wellness programs, and require agencies making large-scale food purchases to follow strict nutritional guidelines. Plans for a website are also in the works. <laughs> and those are your top stories.